Welcome back, guys. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got it on pause. I'll explain in a second. Uh, this is a train that we put in on the on the Lutterworth Kimberley. Uh, what's this? Lutterworth Kimberley. I can't remember what this is called. Uh, Ilkeston line, right? And it needs a name. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be the Mr. Mac NZ. Here we go, Mr. Mac with two C's NZ. There you go, the Mr. Mac NZ. There you go, one of my patrons. You're in. Right, um, now I've got it paused because we've got loads of people on this line. Well, we've got we've got like 48 down there. Down here, we've got like millions. How many have we got down here? We've got like 81 passengers waiting there. So um, I upgraded the other train on this line and it's just pulling out the depot. And this, now this, we can now, now we can let it run. Because I wanted to show, I, I like to show you each train as it pulls out the depot. So there you go. And this one is going to be the Zafod Express. There you go, Zafod. It'll make him happy. There you go. First met Zafod on one of my live streams. And he, he came to note because Nanny Giggles has a dog. Nanny Giggles helps me out with my live streams. And uh, she's got a dog called Zap. And she was like, oh, his name's Zap. And I was like, no, it's Zafod. So there you go. <laughs> Bit of trivia. Right. So there you go. We've got uh, we've got both those trains upgraded. Right. Let's whiz over here because um, and actually I'm going to, uh, am I going to put, yeah, you know, I'm going to pause it for a second uh, while I talk about this because we're going to address the elephant in the room, which is the infamous line 13. I've had so many comments about this, you wouldn't believe. Um, this line 13, this is going uh, around the town of Ghoul and it goes um, from, from the docks. Uh, round to Gull Sidings, and then it goes, I don't know, up up to... Oh, it's actually Barrington now. Sorry, 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 Bear. So, sorry, El Bear, Bear Zidente. Um, it goes to uh, Upper Gull, and then it goes across to uh, Barrington Exchange. Right. So, now, does it need to go to Gull Sidings? No, it doesn't. But I've, got, I've had people saying all kinds of things, that this is broken, and it's screwing everything up, and let's see what this guy does. Right. Um, if we... If we speed this up, I have to speed it up a little bit because people have been saying, "Oh, he's going to drop all his stuff off here, and it's not going to get to these other ones." Let's see what he does. Um, oh, he dropped one off, and then he's carrying on taking the rest to the others. Okay. Um, have you got? Let's have, let's have a look at you. You have, and let's turn this on. So. Yeah, he's got he's got a factory over here that he's uh, that that's getting shipped to, but he's only got one, so that's why he's only taken one brick, right? And then the rest will get taken off to one of the others. And if we actually look at our industry in this town, um, let's turn let's, let's uh, turn that off. Uh, if we look at the industry in this town, 47, 58, 37, 58, 58, 44. Uh, oh. Now that's not getting any. 58, that's not getting any, that one. What's that in range of? That's in range of that. So yeah, that should be getting some. It's not in range of that one. So it's it's this one. And that's like that's probably like the last building to get serviced. So we just need to ship more bricks out there. Now, could I turn this one off for this route? Yeah, I suppose I could, which would like speed the route up a bit. So it's probably not a bad idea, but it's not broken, guys. It's definitely not broken. All right, let's um, let's get one of these. Let's get one of these carts and get line 13. And um, so, which one we want to take out? Um, Gull sidings, don't we? So, all right, we'll remove that. I wonder how long it'll take them to figure out that they're not supposed to be going there anymore. Are you gonna? Yes, he's already figured it out. He's like, yeah, I know where I'm going. Got to go up here. Cool. Right, so, um, but having said that, having said that, if we go over here, um, we we could really do with another boat on this route. Look, we've got like 90 bricks waiting. So let's get a boat. Do that first. Buy ships. Another Wilhelm. Uh, yeah, Wilhelm. Buy and put you on to which line? Uh, line, line 14. There we go. Line 14. Away you go. So that's you dealt with. Oh, PG. Right, that's that. How are we doing profits-wise? We're coming up here. We're midway through the year. 
let's see, we borrowed six and a half mil, we can now repay. So we're actually borrowing five million at the moment. Uh, we have got tons and tons of stone up here. We've got 200 stone waiting to be shipped. So these trains just aren't cutting it. All right, so we're gonna upgrade them. So you, uh, you head to the depot. I've just been thinking about this, guys, and you know, I was actually, I was gonna upgrade to a PLM 220, right? But these are so damn expensive that I think we might be better off just adding a third train at the moment. So you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put you back on, where are we? Which uh, I'm gonna put you back on. We're gonna run a third train, and then we could play around with the signals a bit, which would be kind of interesting. So let's get you out of there. So what we got, we got a Prussian with, um, it's a Prussian with what, nine cars in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so we want to buy, how much cash have I got? 1.6. Um, we'll buy a Prussian, buy, with, where are we? Uh, open wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I could just afford it. Cool, awesome. So you are going to be put onto line uh, six. Okay. Right, go. So he'll pull out of here. You're going to come down here and you're going to stop and wait at this signal. While you wait for this train to come up. Now... I don't really want the trains waiting if we can avoid it. So what I could do, so I don't know, from like there down to there. Okay. And then we want to take this up here. Oh, I need a bit of cash. Need a little bit of cash. Borrow 500,000. Um, yeah, put that in. Then we can bulldoze this little section here ching and then link that up there done all right then um, this signal becomes irrelevant where it is so let's bulldoze that and that signal is irrelevant where it is so now come down here and by the way I think a lot of you are misunderstanding how the signals work judging judging by the comments that I've had. Um, so, this guy coming out of the station needs a signal to tell him that it's okay to proceed. So that goes there, right, before these points. This, the guy, that, the train that's coming down here needs a signal to tell him that it's clear to proceed into the next section of track down here. So we need a signal down here, right. Right, let's, uh, let's run this and see if we can have these trains running without really having any delays. So you're coming down here, you're trolling up there. You're whizzing down here. So he has now cleared the station. So he doesn't have to stop and he can go straight into the station. That's good news. Right, you've collected your next load. You're coming out. Should we speed it up a little bit more? Right, he still had to stop. Right, so I'm going to extend this one, if I possibly can. There we go. All right, let's do it like that. Okay, so now I should be able to put my blooming signal in, and I need to get rid of that one. Yeah, somebody did tell me, um, oh, can you edit out the putting in the signals, because it's boring? Um, well, first of all, I don't think it is. <laughs> I think the signaling is quite interesting. So we want to signal there. Now, we're going to need... Some signals going down here so let's put let's put a signal in there and a signal in I don't know like down there and we'll put one on the mind you on the on the coming up I don't think it's really a problem uh, where did I put the one down here yeah it's yeah let's put it a bit further up make sure there's room okay cool if anybody's going into the depot so now th now this should run pretty smoothly I would hope yeah, he pulls out, he pulls in, picks up another load of stone. So are we are we getting down? We had uh, we had like 200 stone. Wow, man, this is this thing is 
pumping out the start. Look at the production. 327. Holy crap. We might need a fourth train on here. So what were we at? Oh, man. 200. Boom. Jeez. We still can't keep up with it. Even with three trains. I think we're going to need... We're going to need a bigger boat, <laughs> is the simple answer. And, yeah, I don't think this is keeping up either. Look, we've got 100 standing. Oh, vehicle 46 has reached its lifetime and should be replaced. Okay, let's, uh, let's pause for a sec while I sort this out. So you're on line 12. Okay, so line 12 is obviously not set for replacements. Oh, that's not good. Let's have a look. Line 12. Line 12. Ah, no, I see. I haven't let set line 12 to have replacement go. Set vehicle. DMG. And OK. And yeah. All right. Is that the lot? Yeah, that's all of them. OK, so. Whew. Off we go. Now, we're just about to pick up another load of 100. Where's the next boat? OK, the next boat is there. Yeah, I'm thinking we could probably do with one more boat on this line. So let's get it done. Let's get it done. My God, we've got 2.8 million. Wow. Okay, let's repaste some of this. There we go. Down to 4 million borrowed now. Uh, we are going to buy another one of the Wilhelms. Buy, and you go on line 14. There we go. Cool. All right, so that's that. So we'll try and get that down. How are we doing with this at the stone quarry? Is, are, we, are we getting this down at all? 175, 176. Not really. <laughs> well, it's under 200, so I guess it's a, like a small improvement. Maybe we'll get it down over time, just a little bit at a time. And that would be good. That'd be very profitable as well. I wonder, what, I wonder how much they bring in each time they arrive. Let me see. Let's see. Let's look at our, actually, while we're waiting, let's look at our lines and see how, like, how profitable our lines are and which ones aren't profitable. Um, line three is making a fortune. That's lines making almost a million on its own. Holy hell. And yeah, you can sort it by the income of the line. So yeah, line three, the Applejack line. So they're bringing in 150K each time they arrive. Wow. And that's line six. So yeah, I'm, I'm expecting that to become at least as profitable as the Applejack line. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, I said we were going to get onto a um, a more complex production chain. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we've got a lot of bricks here. How many uh, how many carts we got on this line? I'm thinking, however many it is, it's not enough. Uh, vehicles. I've only got three. Yep, I think we need a couple more. Bye. Well, let's put a couple of DMG can stats on there, shall we? Yeah. One, two. And this is line 23 you're going to be on. Oh, wait. Line 23. Boom. Alrighty, cool. And as always, we'll have a quick look at them whizzing out. It's going to upset the horses. It's definitely going to upset the horses. Oi, you! Bloody motor vehicle! Bugger off! Oh, it's a posh horse again. We can do this job much better than you, you know! You think in the future? No, not at all. We are. And by the way, whoever said that we're on crystal meth? It's a lie. We're not on crystal... Horses don't do crystal meth. Horses do heroin. Heroin's the gentleman's drug. Sherlock Holmes did heroin, you know. <laughs> I do like the posh horses. Right. Should we get on? Yeah, let's get on. That's enough of that. Um, I mean, let's just have a quick kind of look around and see if we've got like big piles of stuff lying around. I've just put an extra boat on here, so that's hopefully going to deal with that. Um, that's got... Nah, no, it's okay. That's got a fair amount to ship down there, though, so I think we'll probably put an extra... An extra one on here. Uh, let's, buy, let's buy a couple of these, put them on line 12. Boom, there we go. 
out they come, and off they go. And that's enough of that. Right. Let's finally get to talking about this um, this other production chain. So, we are going to be working on the machine factory, and I'm going to pause this for a bit uh, while we while we go through this. Now, uh, one thing, right? I had a couple of comments about the um, the requirements. This line here, this vertical line, means ore. So, this factory uh, will take either planks or steel and make tools. Uh, or it can take planks and steel, or steel and plastic, and make machines. So there you go. That's um, that's the what that line means. Okay, so we're going to try and supply that. So we need uh, we need steel, we need planks, or plastic, but we definitely need steel. So we're over here. We've got a coal mine. Over here we've got uh, where is it? Over here we've got an ore mine. Right, coal and ore make steel and by the way uh, a byproduct of this is um, slag and um, we can ship slag actually over to here <laughs> right so yeah and then uh, and then we can ship the steel straight down to there which will be peachy so I think we should start getting this going don't you think yeah let's, let's get this going so now I could I could ship the coal over there just by by truck and then maybe put in a train line to ship the um, ship the ore. What do you think of that idea? Should we do that? Let's do that. I actually want to come around a bit to miss those fields. So there. Okay, boom. Uh, so that's shipping it down to here. Right, you're going in there. We'll connect you up with uh, a little road. Ching. And are you in range? Yes, you are. Oh, Barrington transfer. Excellent. Right, now, let's see about a line up to here. Now, are you going to be horrendously expensive if we do it like that? No, it's only 300k. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. A little cut through here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. I can, I can settle with that. Um, what do I want? I want profits, and I want to borrow 500k. A collision? What collision? Okay, let's let's try that again. So let's get you out of the way. We want. Um, let's try that again. What are, you, what are you complaining about? No, now see, now it's fine. Okay. Yeah, 300k. Yeah, I'll I'll live with 300k. Uh, we need a depot for this. Where can we put it? Depth? Where's, where's nice and flat-ish? And put you there. And then hook you up to there. Yes. Hook you up to there. Ugh. Seriously? Oh. Oh, come on. Damn it. Try that again. So let's come out a little bit further. Oh, see now you'll do it. Thank you. Alrighty, so we've got the depot, so now we want a train. What are we hauling? We're hauling iron ore, aren't we? Okay, let's get a train to haul some iron ore. Uh by train. And we'll go. I think we're still gonna go with the Prussians. The G3s. Uh, I think they're about the about the most efficient train we've got at the moment. I mean, this, is, this is obviously higher top speed. I think we'll probably put some of these on our uh, on our main line, but um, for now, yeah, we'll go with the G3s. So we'll buy. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I've got 2.7 million or 2.27 million. We'll buy one of those. And how many ore trucks are we gonna put on this? Um, I'm thinking one of these will cope with probably 12 of these on a relatively track flat track. So let's go. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. Uh, I need to put you on a line, don't I? That would help. Uh, I need to actually set up a line, don't I? Yeah, so we're running from Barrington Transfer to Belper South. Okay, cool. Right, let's have a look at this. Nothing too special. Fairly bog-standard sort of train. And... Out you come. Alrighty. 
Okay, so that's that's that. Um, so you haven't figured it out yet, but you will. You'll get there. Uh, so we need to ship the coal in. Yeah, I think we'll just I think we'll just have trucks hauling it down there. Why the hell not? So let's put in uh, let's put in a truck stop. Uh, we want freight and we want a truck stop. Flip you around. Now, uh, how far out? How far out can we come? About there. So let's put you in there. And we want another one at the other end. Uh, flip, 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 flip. Uh, same deal. So, right, okay, let's put you there. And then we're going to want a depot, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So let's pop a depot in. Um, actually, let's put the depot in at the other end. I think that makes more sense. So depot there by road vehicles. We are going to want some uh, DMGs. So let's put, I don't know, what do you think? One, two, three, four, five, six to start off with. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, what the hell. So this is going to be a new line running from here down to... From Lower Belper to Belper Central. <laughs> oh man, we've got to rename Belper. Although there's, some, there's somebody, there's somebody who watches and comments that's actually that actually used to live in Belper or does live in Belper. I think used to live in Belper. Right. So should we um, should we watch those come out? I suppose we should. Here we go. Our new coal line. Here they come. All of our bright new shiny vehicles. And this rather <clears throat> rather disgusting looking shed. Just imagine him talking to himself now going, no, no, there's nothing, there's nothing. You might as well, no, turn around, mate. There's nothing there, mate. No, I've I told you, look, why, why did you bother going in there? I told you, there's nothing there, mate. Right. <clears throat> Are you going to start production? Are you going to figure it out? You'll figure it out eventually. Uh, so we've got, um, yeah, that's in range. So let's see. Have you figured out that you've got potential? Uh, no, sorry. Have you figured out that you've got potential? Line usage, not yet. No, hasn't figured out that it's got potential. Yeah, it'll figure it out eventually. How about you? Have you figured it out yet? No, he still hasn't figured it out. Oh well. Oh well, we'll see. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for them to kind of figure it out. Come on. I am screwing something up. That's definitely coal. Oh, here we go. There we go. Line usage, yes. And he started to produce. And this guy. Yeah, he started to produce. So. <laughs> now, that, okay. So that's that. Uh, but that alone is not going to cut it. So let's pause. Because as well as getting the, um, the steel going, we need to get. Now, obviously, we're going to ship the steel down here. Now, this is a bit of a. That's a bit steep, that is. Yeah, it's a little bit on the steep side. I'm not quite sure how we're going to ship that down there. But if we're, if we're getting that chain running, then we need to get one of the other chains running. Now, we either need planks or we need uh, plastic. Now, if it's plastic, it's one for one. If it's planks, then we would need like double the planks to, uh, to meet the steel. So let's see, where have we got? Now we've got, um, that's quarry. Oh yeah, yeah, we have got, now we've got a farm. In fact, we've got a couple of farms that um, we could use to produce plastic. Uh, but that wasn't what I was gonna do. I was, I was gonna use um, planks. Well, where the hell was I getting planks from? That's the sawmill. Where was I gonna get the timber from? I can't remember now. Where the hell was the timber? There's timber around here somewhere. That's a quarry. Oh, there's timber down there. Ghoul forest. So we'd need to ship the, from there up to here. Oh, that's wicked. But getting up this hill is going to be a bit of a challenge. Right, let's see. Where would we want you? Probably, I don't know, there-ish. 
Um, yeah. Let's have a look at the topology. Yeah, it's pretty freaking steep up here. But I think we'll cope with it. I think we'll cope with it. Well, we're going to find out one way or another. Now, where the hell do I put this station? Right, let's get some more cash so I can do this. Uh, borrow 500k. Let's put you there. Okay, so we're picking up... Oh, oh, ah, that's the thing. We're carrying a heavy load uphill. Oh, this is the first time we've done this. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... That's an added complication. And something that I should have thought through a little bit better. Now, what we want to do is... That's 2.4 million. Man, it's 2.4 million. Where does it suddenly spike? Oh, because we're running a tunnel through there. But that's actually kind of a good thing. Um, now, if I drop this down... It makes it more expensive, but we can tunnel under that line there. Which um, kind of solves our problem. But it's three mil for that. Ouch. But it's a very nice line. Should we do it? Should we take it? We've borrowed five. Uh, let's see, last year, new vehicles, we've spent 2.6. Spent about three mil, so we're still making like three million a year. Wow. Yeah, we made yeah three million the year before, so we're making about three million a year. Yeah, I'm going to do it then. I'm going to do it. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, two, two point nine three. Done. Ooh, look at that. And that is going to make that a much better run up. Okay. Uh, God only knows how we're going to get a depot. On this line the depot is gonna have to be down here because the whole line is underground that's a very cool line actually I'm glad I did that um, all right let's put in a depot if we did something like that yeah and just put the depot here that's fine that's fine so let's see we want um, depot flip you around oh I should have put I should have put it kind of next to the next to the station oh well all right, yeah, you'll go there. So, now what train are we going to put on here? That's a very, very good question. Uh, I'm just wondering whether we go crazy and get uh, a PLM on here. Because, man, that thing can pull. And it's not going to have a problem pulling up here with a lot, with potentially a lot of trucks. But I think I'm going to go with a Prussian, and we may end up doubling up this track like we did with the stone quarry. So I think I'm going to run a Prussian for now. And we'll see how it does. But I'm only going to run it with like, I don't know, like maybe eight cars. We'll just see how it handles this hill. So what do I want? I want some cash is what I want. Uh, we're up to eight and a half. Oh, my Lord. Uh, buy. And let's see. We want, oh, I want, I want uh, open wagons for, oh, no, I want, oh, no, 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 I want state cars, don't I, for logs? Yeah, state cars. So, one, two, three, what? Not enough money. Oh, good Lord. Let's try that again then. Um, borrow another half a mil. How much are these state cars? What? These state, these state cars are 400k each. The hell? Oh, the capacity eight though. Wow. Seriously? Where's the old one? Where's the old state car? Can I buy those? No. Apparently, I've got to buy the new ones. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. So one, I'd want four of these then, wouldn't I? One, two, three. I can't afford them. Oh man. Okay. Let's borrow up to the 10 mil. Buy, buy. Ouch. So capacity eight. So four eight to thirty two. All right, that's that's okay to start us off with. Holy hell. Set line, new line. 
going from here to the sawmill. That's just to get it to the sawmill. Um, no, where's the sawmill? Here's the sawmill. So, yeah. So that gets it to the sawmill. Once we've got it to the sawmill, we've got to get it from the sawmill to, uh, to here. So I think what we're going to have is, um, I don't know, maybe we ship it. Uh, yeah, we'll ship it into, yeah. See, I was thinking, do, do we ship it over here? Maybe like on this line or something, but I think we're just going to ship it direct. Same as this one. Oh man, good grief. But the thing is, <clears throat> now that we've got those three all set up, we can actually let it run. So we want to want to see you coming out of here. And I want to see how this handles this hill. So we're going to follow you. And we're going to keep an eye on your speed going up this hill. So can he keep his speed up is going to be the question. Now, the thing is, it's all right at the moment because he's not carrying a load. But when he's carrying a load, is he going to be able to do it? See, like right now, he's only getting up to 27. Yeah, I think he's going to, I think he's going to struggle with a full load. It's my guess. Okay, let's run you on a little bit. So, here we come. Oh, who's that? That's train three. Bringing in, what are you bringing in? You're bringing in uh, iron ore, or you will be. Have you got any? Has he got a little bit of iron ore in there? Oh, I think he's got a little bit of iron ore. Yes, he has, two iron ore. Ho, 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 peachy. Right, so we just wait for this train to arrive here. Now, have you figured out that you can produce yet? No, of course he hasn't. But he will eventually. Oh, man. Right, we're going to let them run for a little while um, so that they start producing and start shipping stuff down to here. Uh, are our trucks shipping yet? Yeah, we've got coal there. So we should start getting coal down here. Let's have a look. Oh, we started getting coal. Oh, and we're just about to get some iron. He's running at his top speed, 27 miles an hour. So he's doing okay. Oh no, his top speed's 31, isn't it? Yeah, 31 for a Prussian. So he arrives, drops that off. Good. How are we doing profits-wise? Um... We were down five. Uh, we're down four million this year, but that's because we just spent like 3.2 million on 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 construction and two million on new vehicles. So we spent over five million. So actually, yeah, we're still making uh, we're still making profits. Wow. We just made a huge investment. Now we can now uh, we can repay some of this because we've got money coming in. So let's start to repay some of this. So we're down to nine million now. So we can let this uh, we can let this run for a while, get this stuff coming in, so that this actually starts to get a bit of a stockpile of steel. Um, and then what I think is we'll stick we'll ship the steel and the slag down here to to this thing, and then we we'll, we can ship the slag back to the brick factory across here. So we're going to have loads of boats going backwards and forwards. It's going to be awesome on this lake. This lake's going to be sweet. Alrighty. Um, what are we going to look at next? I have no, no idea. Trying to keep a track of everything. Not that easy. Should we go and look at our upgraded trains and see how they're doing? So we've got... You're carrying 30 of 77. Yeah, we really want higher passenger rates than that. Uh, we've got 67 passengers waiting there. That's good. How are we doing? This is the Mr. Mac NZ, so the other one was the Zaffold Express. You're carrying 44, which is a bit better. Okay, so that's picking up. How, uh, how are we doing on our flagship line? Yeah, let's see, we've got 36. 
This should be, um, this line should actually be Troy Sparks rather than uh, Sparky. Where are the trains? Where are the trains? Oh, there we go. There's Toby the tank engine. He's carrying 17 of a possible 48. He's not as many as I must admit I would like. What are you carrying? You're only carrying 12. Oh, man. Now, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, oh, you got the... You got the old... You got the old carriages. And you've got the old carriages as well, haven't you? I think, wherever the hell he is. Where are you? I've lost him. Oh, here he is. Yeah. Man, we kind of need to upgrade those. Now, I'm just wondering why the passengers... Because the passenger numbers have dropped a bit. And I'm kind of wondering why. Where... Yeah. Where are the stagecoaches? Here they are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're carrying people. I wonder if we need... Do we need, like, more carriages on this line? I don't know. Just line 16. Let's take a look. Uh, line 16. So line 16... Oh, if I actually sort it by... So line 16... We are... Carrying 12 of 12. So we've only got three carriages running around here. Really? Okay. Let's have a look. Vehicles. Yeah, we've only got three vehicles running around here. I think we need more than that. So let's... Um, yeah, let's get some more Let's get some more vehicles on that. Our oh, depot's over here. By road vehicles. Uh, we want some of these nice... Uh, Landauer. Horseless carriages. Which are the... These are the newest ones. These are very cool. Uh, so let's... I don't know. Let's get... I don't know. One, two, three. Yeah. Three. Uh, can you remember which line it was? It was like line 16. Yeah. Line 16. So you're going on line 16. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Well, I mean, I don't know. The wonders of modern technology. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, ah. Oh. Talk about futuristic. I mean, you can't even see where the steam boiler is. Actually, are they, do these actually have a, an internal combustion engine? These must have a, an internal combustion engine. Not a steam engine. Oh, my lord. Oh, it, it, quick, quick, let's go before the horses get upset again. Don't look at me. You bugger off. Uh, right, so, yeah, let's, um, let's keep going. So that's that. I wonder whether whether we need more on the other lines. I might have a quick, I might have a quick scooch around, like, offline after this episode and see what kind of needs doing. Now here, we've got quite a lot of bricks to be delivered. So I'm kind of guessing we need some more trucks on this line. Uh, let's have a look. This is, uh, oh, this is good old line 13. We've got loads of bricks to be delivered. So I suppose, yeah, I suppose we get some more trucks on the, on line 13. So what are we doing? We're putting these uh, DMGs on, aren't we? Yeah, one, two, let's put another three on line 13. There we go. Cool. Alrighty. So now I need to change all of the... I need to change all of the lines that are using stagecoaches to um, be replaced. Where are we? To be replaced with the new Landauer. So and like all the like all these um, these uh, I can't even pronounce that Lobisson, something like that Lobisson. Um, all these need to be replaced. With uh, with the new ones, so yeah, that's that, that's a job for me to do offline. So do you think we should call it call it a day there? Probably because there's probably like six million mistakes that you want to tell me about. So we'll leave it there. We have the Applejack line. Let's just have a quick check. before we go. We'll just have a quick look at like the profitability of the lines and stuff. So let's see, the Applejack line doing great, making a million a year. Uh, line three, 
which is um oh right yeah the one where we've got the, uh, the the new posh carriages on the trains this thing's making us um wow one point one and a half million a year are you carrying full a full tank of passengers pretty close pretty close all right, so um, so that's doing great. We've got line six. That's the stone line. Um, that is making us like seven hundred thousand, and that's running. It looks fairly nicely. Well, there he goes off with a to get to fetch another load. Yeah. Yeah, those three trains are working kind of well. Uh, how is production down here? I think production down here is, um, yeah, flying. We're at almost 300. Up here, production is over 300. Um, I'm thinking we need another, yet another boat to ship stuff out of there. Ah, oh, we'll do that quickly. We'll do that quickly, very quickly. Uh, buy ships and Wilhelm, buy. You go on line 23, is it line 23? Set line, no, line 14. 23, you idiot. Right, so we've got, um, that got, now line 22, I have no idea what line 22 is. It's one of the brick lines. Let's have a look. Is it the one that's actually carrying the, the bricks? You know what I mean. I mean, obviously it's carrying bricks, but you know, you know what I meant. Yeah, it is, it's this one. So it's the, uh, it's the one that's carrying the bricks down to Dart, was it Dartford? Yeah, down to Dartford. Yep, that's doing, that's doing nicely. Good. All right. Um, yeah. So generally we're doing okay, but we've got some lines which are not making us money. Um. So I need to, you know what? I need to have a bit of an investigate on these lines and, and do a bit of sorting out. Now, okay, these down here. Yeah, fair enough, because that those are the new lines that we just put in. But the Troy Sparky line is barely making us any money so I think maybe some of these lines in fact yeah by the numbering these are lines which are feeding the Troy Sparky line and um, yeah the Troy Sparky line needs to make us more money so I think I need to run around and just make sure that we're picking up enough passengers I don't think I've got enough wagons on these lines so we're not shipping the passengers fast enough I mean look over here we've got how many passengers waiting yeah, we've got like 30 passengers waiting who could be at the station. So I'm guessing there just aren't enough vehicles. What did I put? Like three three vehicles on the line or something. Let's have a look. Uh, line 16. If I sort this by name. Line 16, we've got... Okay, there's six. I don't think six is enough to cater for going all the way around here. So yeah. Um... I'm going to go around. I'll probably ramp up the lines. Actually, this is a good point, guys. Do you want me to do stuff offline? Like, if I need to go and ramp up these lines, should I, like, go and put a bunch of vehicles on and then just come back and tell you about it? Or do you want to see everything? You you know, I, I'm open to suggestions because I'm loving this. I Seriously, I'll do whatever the hell you want because I'm loving it. So let me know. Leave me a comment. I'll catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace out. <laughs>